Hey everyone, just wanted to put out a quick video showing you how to get copper metal out of store-bought weed killer. Um, Alright, here we go. So right here I'm adding about 100 milliliters of water to about 160 grams of copper sulfate crystals or regular store-bought root be gone. At boiling, 100 milliliters of water should dissolve about 74 grams of copper sulfate. So in total, I'll use about 200 milliliters. As for the zinc metal in the reaction, I'll use two C batteries, which will yield me about 60 grams of zinc metal. Use my hacksaw to get into, into the inside of the battery. Uh, once you're inside, you'll notice that there's a little packet of zinc metal wrapped up in some like cardboard stuff. And then surrounding that will be magnesium dioxide, which is the uh, second chemical used in the battery. And I'll just set this aside and use it for later. Here's the zinc metal from inside the battery, kind of cleaned up on a uh, watch glass. Check out that gnarly shade of blue, man. That's pretty sweet. So believe it or not, there's actually copper metal right here in this blue liquid. And here I toss in my 60 grams of zinc metal and I get this reaction started. Now what's happening in this reaction is the copper sulfate is being attacked by the zinc metal. The zinc is essentially ripping the sulfate ion off of the copper and it's taking it for itself which leaves copper to settle out of the solution and you'll notice it's this nice rust color you see at the bottom of the flask. It almost looks like gold right here. Now if you notice, the uh, liquid is still kind of bluish, which means there's still copper sulfate dissolved in the, in the liquid, uh, as well as some other impurities um, dissolved in there. Uh, I wanted to have excess solution, so that way all of the zinc metal would react and turn to copper. Next we're going to pour it into the vacuum filter and I'm going to filter off all the liquid. And there you have it, copper metal. In the beginning we had zinc and copper sulfate and now we have copper and zinc sulfate. Pretty cool.